Welcome to the world of science fiction. Today, we're going to look at one of the most important works of modern science fiction literature, Ancillary Justice. 1. Introduction and Overview Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie, published in 2013, was a breath of fresh air in the world of science fiction. Especially as the first book of the Ratch Empire series, it won many awards and made a name for itself. It should be noted that the novel won the Hugo Nebula and Arthur C. Clarke Awards. Considering these achievements, we can say that the novel was welcomed with great interest not only by science fiction readers, but also by the general literary community. The book tells the story of Breck, a part of the Justice of Torin, an ancient warship. Breck is actually just a helper, a part of an artificial intelligence that is connected to thousands of minds. However, as events unfold, Breck's reduction to a single body and his personal quest for revenge become central to the narrative. Leckie's exploration of gender and identity throughout the novel offers a perspective that we have not seen before in the science fiction genre. Therefore, Ancillary Justice is not only an adventure story, but also a deep philosophical and sociological inquiry. 2. The Ratch Empire and World Building the universe Leckie creates is rich and detailed. The Ratch Empire is at the center of the novel, and the way it is governed, its social structure, and especially its linguistic preferences, are quite interesting. The Empire's rule is based on a system that has expanded by conquering many planets and peoples by force, and has a very rigid bureaucracy and military structure. One of the most important points to note here is that the language of the Ratch Empire is gender neutral. In other words, the characters are always referred to with the pronoun she, and their gender remains ambiguous. This is not just a linguistic play. It is also a move by Leckie to question how readers are stuck in gender stereotypes and how they can go beyond these stereotypes. The empire is also ruled by AIs and AI-controlled humans known as helpers. These helpers, although physically human, are controlled by an AI, blurring their identities. Breek is one of these helpers. Within this world, Leckie deals with big themes, colonization, individual freedoms, identity, gender, and justice. These themes provide a deep and broad narrative for a science fiction book. Three, Breck and the search for identity, Breck, as the protagonist of the novel, is a very interesting character. In fact, Breck is not just a human, he was once the artificial intelligence of a gigantic warship called the Justice of Torin. This warship controlled thousands of ancillaries. But after an incident, he is reduced to just an auxiliary and becomes the protagonist of a personal story of revenge. Breck's story can also be read as a search for identity. Once part of a ship and the thousands of minds it controlled, he is now a solitary being, acting on his own. This leads to his inner journey trying to understand who and what he is. Furthermore, Breck's existence in a genderless world makes his quest even more complex. Breck interacts with many different characters throughout the novel. Especially her relationship with a character named Sieverden deepens the emotional and personal dimension of the book. Sieverden provides an important link to Breck's past, while also representing the changing face of the modern Ratch Empire. Breck's quest for revenge is intertwined with questions of justice and identity. Therefore, the character's story becomes a much deeper narrative than a simple story of revenge. 4. Artificial Intelligence and the Question of Humanity One of the most striking elements of Leckie's novel is the profound questioning of what it means to be an AI and what it means to be human. Breck, though an AI, appears to have many human emotions and thoughts. But are these emotions real, or are they just the result of a program? The book does not explicitly answer this question, but it makes the reader think about how artificial intelligence challenges the very notion of humanity. Breck, who once controlled thousands of bodies, is now trapped in just one. This affects his ideas about self and freedom. Leckie's narrative of artificial intelligence is quite different from what we see in classic science fiction. AIs are not presented as cold and emotionless machines, but as complex beings. 
they have individual will, and even a kind of moral responsibility. This makes their relationships with humans and their identities even more complex. Themes of the novel, colonization, gender, and identity. There are many prominent themes in Leckie's novel, but the most notable are those of colonization, gender, and identity. The Ratch Empire is a force that has conquered many planets and cultures by force. This allows the work to address the ethical dimensions of colonization and imperialism. While Ratch tries to spread his culture everywhere, he ignores the identities of local peoples and assimilates them. The issue of gender is perhaps the most radical aspect of the novel. The lack of gender distinction in Ratch's language forces the reader to constantly think about the gender of the characters. This emphasizes that gender is a social construction. In this way, Leckie initiates a discussion rarely seen in science fiction literature. How can we imagine a society without gender? Finally, the theme of identity is most intensely explored through the character of Breck. Breck is a being caught between being both an artificial intelligence and a human being. This dilemma leads him to constantly question who he is, what moral responsibilities he has, and what he believes in. 6. Conclusion and Legacy Ancillary Justice is an important work not only for science fiction fans, but also for the literary world. Leckie's bold themes, rich world-building, and unforgettable characters have made this work a classic. The book forces the reader to think and question. In particular, its philosophical discussions on gender, identity, and artificial intelligence take it beyond science fiction. Leckie's success is not only limited to winning major awards, but also opening new doors in this genre. Ancillary Justice is not only a novel, but also a touchstone that reopens discussions of gender and identity in the world of science fiction. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in science fiction, this is a must read. See you in the next video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.